Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today I'll be showing you how to edit 360 degree footage, and I'll be using the LG 360 degree cam, which is kind of the ones I recommend for starting out. It's the 2K camera. There's two 2K cameras back and forth of each other doing 180 degree footage on each side. Comes with the stitching software, which all your cameras should should come with that that you buy like this okay so that's why i'm using this is just the standard to show you but it, you know if you got the the samsung one or whatever you've got it should come with the software to stitch it so we'll assume that it does uh, you can get this one by the way for like 95 bucks right now 100 bucks is kind of going price online just do a search it's 200 dollars is the price they suggest so it takes a micro sd card I love it. You can put it in manual settings and, and toy with it and try to go as neutral as you can. So in editing, you can kind of mess with it a little bit. But anyway, you're going to want to go to support on regardless of what the product you have in manuals and downloads to what you want is above all update the firmware, whatever you do, update your camera's firmware. Okay. So you've done that. Now you want the LG 360 cam viewer. Um, that's how LG sets it up. So you want to download the Windows viewer if you have Windows or Mac or whatever. So you download that and it looks like this. Here's the icon that you have on your desktop. Desktop, it says LG 360 cam viewer and that will actually do the stitching uh, for you. And what the footage looks like without being stitched, well, let's just take a little gander. It looks like, like if I was to drag and drop the footage over from the SD card right into the Windows uh, PC here. It looks like that. You get two cylindrical uh, bits of footage. It hasn't been stitched at all, but you can see where the stitching will take place and how that kind of looks. And it'll play in everything, so you can kind of just look at it if you want to. I do unboxings and stuff like that uh, with the 360 cam uh, viewer our viewer camera and then also like going to bars and breweries and pubs and and stuff that might be kind of touristy or things that i like to do and just set the camera up at random for a couple minutes a piece people don't know it's there and it gives you a sense of okay i'm gonna put my uh vr goggles on and look around in this place and see its normal activities and kind of get a sense of something before you go see it especially if you're a tourist to a city it's kind of neat to see a, a famous spot it, it like that so something i do whatever but what you want to do is stitch this together after you've uh, drug it off the SD card of what you filmed off your camera. In order to do that is you're going to pull up your 360 cam viewer or whatever your stitching software is. This is just the LG 360. Hit that folder up there at the top corner. Pick, pick your uh, footage and you see it's at 0%. It takes a long time to stitch. So that's going to go through and stitch and it'll 100% it'll be done. You go back it'll have result the same number and it'll be, these are sequence numbers so that it'll create new files folders for you in the camera so it'll be result whatever and then that's the finished product and this is what it looks like stitched you can see where it's kind of grainy through the, the edges here that's where it stitches it together but that's still not 360 degree footage right you're not able to pan around and look around no you're not and that's okay and, and one other next thing you're going to want to do if you're going to do youtube uploads in 360 degree which is probably what you're going to do or you're going to do facebook you're going to do one of the two because i think that's about pretty much the only thing that you can really do with it you're gonna have to uh head over type in youtube 360 degree media metadata injector and one of the first things that pops up make sure it says support.google.com Upload 360 degree videos. It's a tutor to tutorial on how they recommend to do it. But just go to step two and it says prepare for upload. You're going to want to download the 360 degree video metadata app, Windows. Boom. And what that's going to do is going to inject uh, a thing into it where YouTube knows, okay, this is 360 degree footage and it's going to do its thing to it and, and, and uh, compress it and display it out into 360. It's gonna set it up, that video up, for 360 degree viewing. Um, and that's all it does, it's a really quick thing, but I'll show you how to do that. After, I'll show you kinda of how to edit it, and I'll be using Adobe Premiere CC 2017. It's the easiest thing I've come across. You could, I've done this since the beginning of the summer. It was, it's been kinda of that easy, but a hidden thing within Adobe. Um, CyberLink, PowerDirector, uh, the newest version of that, also offers 360 degree editing 
um, and they they make it kind of plain and easy to do and, and a lot of the uh, software uh, editing software will do it it's just not as easy but I'll show you how to do it in Adobe and uh, just try your best to search around to find out how to do it uh, within your own editing software and it's just as simple as editing anything else really so let's shoot over to Adobe now and I've created this little um, practice thingy here and let's import I'm going to import the result because that's the stitched stuff right yeah boom there it is drag and drop over it looks just like anything else it's the result it's it's stitched but it's not 360 degree right well you can right click on the screen there on your uh, video you go down to VR video and enable that and then now you can look around at 360 degree but you don't want to edit in that you just want to check your edits so as you um, color grade or sharpen the footage or whatever you're gonna do to it then you, you just go back to VR video enable it look around make sure whatever's okay and then come back out and keep on trucking uh, let me switch over now and show you a completed edit so you can see how much stuff I've packed in. You can put pictures in here to move around. You can put graphics in here to move around, but it does bow everything. When you film something and you do something, you want it right in front of the camera and right behind uh, the camera in front of the other lens facing away from you. That's the most clarity. That's where the sharpness will be and the detail will be. The far farther you move away from that center point, the grainier it's going to get, especially on the edges where it runs into the stitching. Uh, that's where it's going to downgrade the most. And, and, and around the bottom, the top, everywhere it stitches, it's, it's in a big circle, you know, 180 degrees. That's where it's going to stitch. So if you're in that zone, your clarity is going to suck. You know, your video quality is going to suck. So let's open a new project. I'm going to open the, um, I, let's see, save change. Nope. Um, okay and boom we have a lot of stuff that I've done and we'll move let me expand this out move to the back here there and what I did was I introduced a lot of the photos when I do these unboxings I like to put I'll actually scan or take the photos of the things that I unbox and put those in the atmosphere around you and what does that look like whenever you um, will enable the VR so I'm, I'm doing an unboxing and the band box is what I always unbox every month in 360 I'm trying to get as creative as possible so I keep trying to do different things to it but once you put those photos in just like you do on any edits and stuff like that but you see how it curves and bows I try to put this right at face level like right at right at the middle and you see these little degree marks here that it gives you let you know if you're at zero and zero that way so you want to put any kind of introductions into this at the zero point here because if you don't it starts to curve up it starts to distort and starts to curve down and, and, and right here you get the best best shot and it does curve left to right but that helps add a little bit of okay this is like floating in space in front of me and you can see everything behind it it floats I even took a picture of these little knives that it came with the box and I uh, just kind of cut out everything and, and made this photo a, a PNG uh, picture and, and was able to, to set that in there with no white background or nothing like you know what I'm talking about if you edit so yeah all these are like PNG photos that's it kind of and you just treat it like anything else you can even do your outro like if you've got a if you have a YouTube channel um, we'll go to enable so you have a logo right yeah I'm listening to music and then boom my logo pops up and you can that's wrapped all around you I think it looks cool as hell the only thing that you can't do right now with 360 degree footage let me go back out and see this footage that that that's that was a picture that that was all warped so there it looks flat and fine and perfect but then you enable this and boom you're you're it, it puts it into this 360 degree world for you and there's really nothing it's not as hard as it looks on the editing side 
but yeah the YouTube the one thing that it doesn't do you know at the end of the videos now it's got popped up on the mobile or desktop stuff where you can click the actual video footage and go into something else you can't do that yet but I'm sure that's coming in some form or fashion but now you want to export your footage so let's go to export and we want to go entire sequence here um, format h.264 that's what I do because I think that's what YouTube will compress into anyway um, match the source at the highest bit rate go down here target bit rate you can put that at 17 for the LG 360 cam whatever you uh, camera you have just just mess with the the bit rates on however it records the bit rates and try to get the best quality you can there I mean it shouldn't be anything crazy like a DSLR or something some of those can be 40 or in the 20s and 30s and stuff like that so I think 17 15 something like that will be fine for the LG one I do two passes here and you want to use maximum render quality and you want to make sure it should automatically do this but make sure video is in VR is checked and monoscopic monoscopic whatever is checked that's good and then you just export it like anything else I'm not gonna do that because I've already done that all right now we're gonna open the injector up here bring it over here because it opened up on the left side we're gonna open the footage that we exported out and created from um, Adobe which I've titled the band box for December 2016 boom there it is you want to save it as so it'll save as injected um, and it's gonna say injected right after the same title only thing it's gonna, thing it's gonna do is put underscore injected onto it so you want that so you hit save and I've already got that there because I've already done this so yes to replace it um, and then we'll see right now how long it actually takes it says right now it's actively saving the file shouldn't take too long I'll take a sip of my coffee well I didn't even get to do that successfully saved um, the file and, and that's it just quit that and then you run over and you just grab that injected file which I'll show you what that looks like right there see it says the BAM box injected boom that's what you want to grab and drag and drop into uh, YouTube so that it recognizes that that's 360 degree footage now make sure to schedule uh, your 360 degree footage a couple hours out of actually being shown to the public so say you're um, uploading the footage and it's processing and all that good stuff and it's about ready to to, to be able to be made viewed by the public or something give it three or four hours and schedule it three or four hours out of that point because if you don't do it sometimes it won't show in 360 degrees if it does it's kind of blurry and it won't show in the full 2k um, and you want it to look really good right off the bat especially if, if you have a good subscriber base and stuff uh, you want it to look good right from the get-go so maybe even schedule it for the next day because the longer it sits in YouTube world the better that thing's gonna look um, until it reaches the point that's gonna look the best it's gonna look but for whatever reason it takes it a while to look really good so just take that in mind keep that in mind thanks for watching this this is a super easy process I didn't really go into detail on a lot of things because if you know how to edit video then this is just kind of showing you what to inject it with and things and, and you can take it right off of your Adobe and you don't have to go through the YouTube injector remember if you want to do Facebook just just take that and throw it onto Facebook Facebook will automatically recognize it as VR you go from there it's kind of self-explanatory just upload it like you would any other video but it'll recognize fact it's 360 that's it thanks for watching Isaiah's reviews I hope you like subscribe to the channel please and share this video to all your social sites it helps get me places I can't get to on my own and we'll see you again later.